Hi, this is Adelaide Hargraves coming to you live from the Hong Kong Fintech Week 2018. With us we have Amanda and Mushir from the Fintech Association of Hong Kong. How are you guys doing today? Good. We're doing great. Thank yeah. you for having us. Are you guys excited to be here at Fintech this week? This week? I think it's a great week. So far the first two days of Finnovate was great and now this is the main conference and uh, this is the biggest it's been in three years and we're really excited to see all the companies yeah. uh, taking part. Yeah. Wow, so how long have you guys been in Hong Kong? Personally or? Uh, the association oh, or okay. individually? So, um, I mean the associations, uh, um, have, we started at the first FinTech week of Hong Kong, so this is the third year. Um, it gives special meaning to us as well in a certain way, yeah. So we formulated ourselves in the first week, uh, November of 2016 when the first FinTech week happened. Yep. Uh, but the association was launched last June. We've been in the uh, process uh, alive for 15 months now. Yep. And we have now, since the beginning, 15, uh, 1,200 members representing 300 plus firms. Wow. So what exactly do you guys do? Oh, we yeah. just turn our back. We turn our <laughs> <laughs> Advocate, yeah, collaborate yeah. and educate. Yep. So do you want to expand a little bit on that? Sure. So we got um, three pillars. Um, all our activities are actually driving within that three pillars. We have 14 committees um, covering AI, blockchain, cybersecurity, and even Greater Bay China. Um, just to make sure that we provide a platform for um, our stakeholders to communicate. Yep. So in terms of the three pillars, advocacy is where we work together with the regulators and the government uh, in terms of setting perfect Align the regulations for fintech. Um, second is collaboration. As Amanda mentioned, we have 14 different committees where we bring together our large uh, startups as well as large corporates with small startups and individuals. So we have some of the world's biggest banks like Goldman Sachs, Citibank, HSBC, UBS, to name a few. We have large insurance firms like Prudential, AXA, AIA. We have Alibaba, we have Tencent, we have JD.com, yeah. and then we have Hong Kong startups like FinFabric, VLab, TNG, Crystal AI, Neat, etc. And they all come together in these committees to collaborate, to partner, to look at solutions, to respond to the regulators as a unit, as yeah. one voice, but different views. And of course, to, uh, to set industry standards and best practices. So this is an actual perfect time for us to announce. Uh, we have launched a best practices paper for token sales. We did that last year, was the first time we did it, and this year is an updated version. Uh, so it's just gone out now, and it's available on our website, fthk.org slash fintechweek, and in our publication page. But this is meant to be a guide for companies who are looking to do a token sale under the legal and regulatory environment present today. Wow, so you guys are really starting to build and develop your business, yeah? Yeah. So we are not for profit. Yeah. yeah. We're members, we are membership driven uh, NGO organizations, yeah. So we are not, um, you know, like, like, you know, driving for money, but it's all about passions that we have. Oh, wow. And so how is that sort of in the finance industry, how is that sort of helping sort of, you know, uh, move the finance industry forward and things? So FinTech has been around, technology and financial services, short for the longer form of FinTech has been around for quite a few years, over 100 years if you're looking at the cable and the telegram. But in the recent past, you, after the financial crisis, you had a case where banks were not investing as much into technology. And with the speed and acceleration of technology at the same time, iPhone launched in 2007, so very similar time frame, you saw technology influencing the way financial services is delivered and given by a lot of startups. So what we are seeing now is that the large institutions are also quite keen on incorporating new technology innovations into their products offering, and because most of the world is now digital and mobile. Uh, a lot of the solutions are looking to cater to that. So FinTech is a way for people to interact and do their financial services, including insurance, on their uh, mobile as well as their web, and also digitalization of various services using different technologies like artificial intelligence and blockchain. Wow, that's great. So everyone who's watching here, how can they keep in touch with what you're doing? Do you have a website, a Twitter handle? So we have a website, we have LinkedIn. a Twitter handle, as well as LinkedIn, but the best ones are our website, so ftahk.org, that's FinTech Association of Hong Kong. Uh, and uh, secondly is our LinkedIn page, yep. FinTech Association of Hong Kong, the world's most followed FinTech Association, I may probably say that, so yeah. Wow, that sounds great. So thanks so much for your time Thank today, you. guys. Um, and for everyone else out there, if you want to keep in touch with FinTech Hong Kong uh, week this week, please uh, subscribe to our channel below. Um, thank you.